Hi, welcome back to Taronga TV. We're at the Chimpanzee Exhibit. We're really lucky to have Katie, a primate keeper with us. And we've got a treat for you right now. Katie, tell us what's going on in the background. Well, as you can see, Hayden, our chimps are using our termite mount. It's not a real termite mount, because um, we don't want to have termites running all over the exhibit, obviously. But it's an artificial termite mount. So instead of termites in there, we've put some pureed food in there. The only way they can get to it, though, is to use a tool. So in the morning, what would be the routine that you would do for the chimpanzees? So we um, bring the chimps into the night house. They get access to their night house and their exhibit at night. And then we come out here to clean up from the day before mm -hmm. and put some food out and put enrichment out as well. So um, our chimps are really healthy. They eat mostly vegetables. Today they got some capsicum, some uh, eggplant and some sweet potato. And then we put their termite mound out for them as well. All the foods you should be eating at home, kids, eggplant, capsicum and sweet potato, just remember that. If the <laughs> chimps eat it, you eat it. But this is really special. What Katie was just talking about there is the termite mound. Now talk us through that. So that's um, part of the enrichment that we do for our chimps. They're incredibly intelligent animals. So we need to keep them active and stimulated throughout the day. Out in the wild, they will make and use tools to get their food. And so we've tried to replicate that here at Taronga uh, by providing them with a termite mount. And we puree up some of their food from each day. We make a different combination every day and pop it in the termite mount. Now, I don't think this has been done before, Katie. I don't think we've ever shown this before. People can see the chimpanzees using tools and getting the, the puree out from inside. But we are going to take you on a Taronga TV exclusive. We're going to take you inside the termite mound. This is incredible. Have a look at this. What are they eating today? Today they've got some carrot, tomato and pawpaw. Carrot, tomato and pawpaw. Again, foods that you must be eating at home. Being good Aussie chimps, they do like Vegemite as well. <laughs> they do like Vegemite as well. <laughs> we'll so put that in there occasionally. You've given them some <clears throat> material that they can use to create a tool. Yep. Can you talk us through that? We've given them what we call browse, which is just a term that is used for branches of leafy greens. Um, today they've got mulberry, one of their favourites. Uh, so they will strip all the leaves off the branch. They'll also strip the bark because they like to eat the bark of the mulberry as well. And then they'll use that <coughs> like little fumo is there to um, put into the holes and to get the puree. So you'll give them the brows, they'll pull off the leaves, they'll fashion it. You've got a stick in your hand here yeah, that people right. are going to be thinking, why has she got a stick? Is she going to hit me uh, <laughs> when I've been talking too long? Which does happen. Um, talk us through what that is. So this is an example that um, we got out of the paddock earlier of one of the sticks that our chimps has used. So you can see at the end of the stick, they've actually frayed all the fibres there to make like a, a paintbrush. So they can collect more puree with the paintbrush than they would just the normal end wow, of the that stick. that is incredible, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Now, there's something really interesting that I think you'd love to hear, and this happens in the wild as well, and what Katie was saying when they fray this, our chimps weren't doing this a few years ago, were they? No. No, it only started probably four or five years ago now. Um, and then once one chimp learned how to do it, then they all started learning from each other. So now they all seem to do it. So they would do this in the wild with a real termite mound, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would. It was discovered by somebody very close to you, me, to Taronga <laughs> and to the world, Dr. Jane Goodall. Yeah. Talk us through how Jane discovered that. So Jane first started studying chimps back in 1960, so almost 60 years ago. And one of the early behaviours she discovered was an adult male chimp um, called, who she named David Greybeard. And he was, initially, he was putting a blade of grass into a termite mound. And she just sat back and watched what he was doing. And then later went over to the termite mound to, to try it herself. And she realised when he put the blade of grass in, the termites would bite onto it. And then she could pull it out and he was eating the termites. Later on, she discovered that the chimps were actually modifying sticks. So they were essentially making a tool to put into that termite mound to get more termites out. So it, it involves incredible problem solving and intellect, doesn't it, to create a tool. It's not just sort of using a, a, 
an object to do something. It's actually fashioning a tool. When you think about it, that's, that's development of behaviour, watching each other, learning from each other, and it happens exactly in the wild. Now, there's other things that they do as well that is really interesting. They will use tools to break open nuts and things like that. Yeah, they will. Um, and I think there's a story that I heard, not while I was a keeper, but a long time ago where the keepers tried to teach them to use a rock and anvil. Yeah, do you they know did. About that one? They did. I do know that story. And it's a really great story. And the, the keepers showed the chimpanzees how to crack open macadamia nuts inside the night house. And that happened over a period of days and they thought they got the hang of it. And then they came out in the keeper talk and threw out the macadamia nuts uh, in the keeper talk. And the chimps gathered all the nuts up and took them back into the night house for the keepers to open up for them. The chimpanzees are using humans as tools. Very smart. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your time, Katie. We always learn something on Taronga TV. And if you get a chance when you come back to Taronga, stand in this spot, have a look at these incredible creatures fashioning tools and problem solving using the termite mound to eat that beautiful food. You never know what's around the next corner on Taronga TV. Thanks for being with us and we'll see you next time. Thanks, buddy.